Dad's army. Sergeant Wilson's little secret. Right, before we dismiss, Captain Mannering has asked me to bring to your attention to an item in the paper which states that a member of the House Guard of the Home Guard in Midlands was fined L5 for being drunk in charge of his rifle. Permission to speak, Mr. Wilson? Yes, Jones. I'm sure you do not believe that a member of this platoon behave in, in a like manner. It's a splurge and an integrity. All right. I'm sure no offence was intended. You just wish me to draw to your attention so we might all benefit from the lesson. What lesson? Don't take your guns to a party. Mr. Manning wants to insult us. He should insult us to our faces and not get someone to do it behind his back. All right, Captain Manning had no wish to offend any of you. Where is he then? Well, he's here. Doing what? Hiding? Yes, he is, in a way. Not surprising. He's called us drunkards. My mum won't allow, won't allow me to drink. How long could I get drunk in charge of my rifle? As James he says, calling us a load of drunks. Bit of a liberty, isn't it? Calm down. Captain Manning is going to give us a surprise lecture. So when you fall out, I want you to go around in a little sort of semicircle. Do you understand? In front of the platform. Is that quite clear? Well, do that then, will you? Fall out. Captain Manry, Captain Manry, the men are ready, sir. All right, Wilson, you can announce me now. Pay attention, please. Captain Manry is not now going to show you something really rather unusual. What? Give us a comic turn? What's unusual about that? Good evening, men. Are you wondering why I'm dressed like this? Aye, we are. No, sir. No. As you see me like this, you can you guess what the object of my lecture will be? Pretty fruit tree, sir. No, Godfrey. It's camouflage. Ah, I shall want to volunteer to drop in the scenery. Permission to speak, sir. Yes, Corporal. I should like to volunteer, sir. Some of it's a bit heavy, Corporal. I used to do this type of work, sir. I help with the vicarage pantomime. Last year, sir. Once you done the beanstalk? Yes, all right. Stand on the side, would you? We don't call it the side, sir. We call it the wings. All right. Stand in the wings. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Would you stand by the curtain? Yes. Now, the object of the camouflage is merged into one background. Draw the curtain, Sergeant. All right. Is there anything how I stand out clearly against a plain background? Corporal, drop in the scene for the woodland on. Woodland scene coming down. Right, sir. Woodland scene, sir. Now, is there anything how I will merge with, with, with my background? How can I... Improve this camouflage, disguising herself as a coal shuttle. Coal shuttle? You will oh, burn your bum if you stand there. Corporal, you put the wrong scene in. Sorry, sir. It's a woodland scene I want. I'll say, sir. Not the Baron's kitchen. Yes. Put it in the woodland. We had a lot of fun, didn't we, Joe? The horse brought the pumpkin off. All right. Put the good learn scene in. Yes, right, sir. Now, as I was saying, it's always, it's always the mo- sir. We had a lot of trouble with the Shetland pony last year. Just where you're standing, Corporal. Will you get the woodland scene? scene? Yes, sir. Woodland scene coming in now. Right. Ah, oh, me foot. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Jones, where are you? Corporal Jones? Jones? Mr. Manry? Where? Where's Mr. Manry? He went back, round the back, I think. Are you there, sir? Open this door at once. It seems to have been stuck. Would you mind going round the back to help Mr. Manring? There you are. Get the woodland scene. Woodland scene. Right, help. I can't get through, sir. Can't get through. Hang on, where are you? Right on, sir. Where are you, Jones? Lord, look, get him down, Sergeant. You're no better than he is. Sorry, sir. I've never d- done a beanstalk. Take it up again, Sergeant. Are you right, Corporal? Fit as a flea, sir. Bit of fun. That's going up and down, that going up and down. You better sit down. Yes, right. Could you manage it all all right, sir? Just about, I think, Corporal. Now now then, what do you think of that? The best turn I've seen in years. All right, everyone. A point I want to you to notice in particular. You are as follows. First of face, means we need some corks, champagne corks are the best. Cook them until they burn through and then serve them on toast. Very tasty. Walker, your very life may depend upon this one day. 
Grind them into the fine powder. Mix them with grease and apply it to the face. Any questions, sir? Yes. How are you going to get hold of champagne corks? Remember, there's a war room. I am aware of that, Fraser. We shall improvise. But this is weak, sir. Yes. Get a cork bath mat and chop it into lumps. Good idea. Make a note of that, Sergeant. You have a job. Very no scarce, they are. Why? There's a war room. I happen to have one in store. As, as it is for the platoon. Thirty bob, all right. I think we'll find another source. Will medicine bottle corks do? I can ask the clinic. Yes, good idea. Do that, will you, Godfrey? Black, black leg. Your majesty are covered from head to foot in foliage. Good job there's no squirrels about. Who said that? Any f- further questions? Yes. What do you do in the winter when a car can you get foliage? Good question. Anyone get, uh, got any thoughts on that? For instance, a week, sir. The band of holly in the winter, sir. Can you run yourself with holly instead of foliage? Yes. Of or mistletoe? Well, now, your main task is to blur the outline, break up the outline. I'm going to dismiss you. I'm bearing in mind what I told you. Parade back here in one hour's time. Fully camouflage, right? Left, 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 right, left. Between, halt. Between, left turn. Excellent, men. Don't you think, Wilson? Absolutely first class, sir. Who is this? I have no idea, sir. It's me, disguised as a small haystack. Oh, Walker, very good indeed. What's the matter with you, Pike? I'm sorry. It's my hay fever, sir. Don't stand in next to him. Get to the end of the line. Thank you, sir. What's this, Godfrey? I tried several things on, sir. Nothing seemed to suit me. You're supposed to break up the outline. I thought I was significantly broken up as it is. What's this on your face? My apiarist mouth, sir. You what? Beekeeping, sir. It's full of holes. Yes, I know. I should mend them, but my bees are quite friendly. Why this looks as if you're on a cruise on the South Seas? I idea from a picture I saw my sister's called South of Pongo Pongo. Don't feel more of it than mature in it. Was it good? I liked it. My sister thought and Mr. Lamore was rather fast. What has this, this lot got to do with camouflage? I don't really know, sir. I thought I should open it up. Sort of open air. I see. I agree, sir. It does look rather open air. What have you been to see? Phantom the Opera? No. This is winter foliage. Camouflage. You wear it in the snow. Well done, Fraser. Why aren't you in camouflage, Corporal? I am camouflage. A butcher. You are a butcher. I know I am, sir. And you know I am. But that doesn't mean the Germans know I am, sir. I'm quite aware. Don't quite follow this argument. I'm standing outside my shop. A bit nonchalant. Long comes, comes this German soldier. He sees me dresses in his pearl. Just as he begins to treat me as a, me, a, a, a more, I go whap the old cold steel right up him. They cannot but broke that sort of thing. No. I'm aware of that, Corporal. What does it mean with this pike? Not my fault. I got a note for me, mum. I'm not having old faint covered in a lot of wet, damp leaves. Oh, why don't you set off his chest again? I'd like a word off the parade, Sergeant. All right, sir. I never heard anything like this. The way Miss Pike monocolors her son is absurd. Yes, sir. She's always coming down here interfering. It's got to stop. If all the men came with notes with their mother, from their mothers, it would look a bit odd. Certainly would, sir. And then maybe somebody got to talk to her. And you ought to do it. You're friendly with her. Yes, sir. We go to cinema but together every now and then. Sometimes ask me back for a meal, that sort of thing. What sort of thing? Whatever she's cooking at the time. I see. She's got my ration book. It makes it fit easier. You've got to talk to her. I wouldn't allow my own wife to tell me how to run this platoon. She knows a woman's place is in the home. Quite. I wouldn't tolerate her telling me what to do. Hello? Ah, oh, Mrs. Mannering. Of course. Just a moment. It's your wife that's on the telephone. Uh, really? Yes. Hello, Elizabeth. I'm very busy. I can't get home for half an hour, I see. I'll leave you to look up. Don't forget to have a word with Mrs. Pike. There's only one way to deal with a woman. How's that? You must be very firm. I'll be very firm, Frank. That's your butter ration. That's your butter ration for the week. Oh, dear. What's happened? What's the matter, ma'am? 
It's from the WVS. They want us to take on that Vacquerie. I suppose we ought to do all we can to help. I think we can manage one of them, all right? You can have the little room at the back. I'd like to let them know tonight. Well, weren't, wasn't Uncle Arthur coming for tea? Yes. You don't mind, do you? No. Not quite like Uncle Arthur, really. Oh, dear. No, dear. You don't mind us having a little bit of eating? Oh, no, no. Trouble is, Jim grow up so quickly these days. Be nice to have a child around the house. I wonder what that would be. Would it be a boy or a girl? Well, we shall, well, well, we shall just have to wait and see, don't we? You know, Frank, it'd be funny doing a, being a mum or mother again after all these years. Let's say, don't say anything to Uncle Arthur about this just at the moment. Let me tell him in my own, my own time. Okay. There you are, Arthur. You're late. Yes, I'm late. Sit down or your tea you get cold. Right oh. Thank you, Miss Mavis. Frank. I go, Arthur. You look pale, Arthur. Are you right? What? No. Yes, I'm quite right. You go, it does look pale, doesn't he? You know what they say, Mum? Pale and passionate. Oh, Frank. Stop it. Frank. That's enough of that. Hurry up and get finished your tea. Don't you want anything to eat, Arthur? No. It's all right. I'm just not very hungry. Must eat something. I got some nursery biscuits. I'll, I'll fetch you. No, maybe it's, Don't please don't bother. I can't. Uh, it's very kind of you. It's just I'm not very hungry. I'm not hungry. But my nursery biscuits, biscuits are your favourite. They do, they got icing with little children on them. I don't know exactly what they look like. I don't have them to want one at the moment. No need to snap my head off. I'm not snapping. After me using all my points to get them. I'm awfully sorry. It just seems I don't know. I sometimes have lost my appetite. I wouldn't have wasted my points. I would have to be grateful for everything on points. I don't think you can have that. There is no points. There's a baby. Don't be a coward, of course. I don't know where you can get it from. Unless it's from rough men in the home guard. I'll speak to Mr. Mattering. Oh no, P. Davis, don't do that. I'll go and put my me, me uniform on, otherwise I'll be late. All right, Frank. I don't know what's the matter with you. It's like you've got, it's not like you to look so miserable. I couldn't help overhearing what you're saying to Frank just now. Oh, another addition to the family? That's right, yes. Don't see why you should worry about it. I do worry, Mavis. I do, I don't, I can't understand how you take it so calmly. What do you expect me to do? Isn't it as though, isn't though I'm the only one in this situation? All the same, though, I couldn't, you keep still just for a moment. I feel a bit responsible. Don't see why you should. I don't want to decide to have a child. Why? Why? Because there's a war on. You must do all, all do our bit. What's the war got to do with it? I wouldn't have the child if there wasn't a war. Well, no. I don't know. I stopped treading out of me like a lost sheep. I'm trying to get on. Sorry. Hurry up. We'll be late for your parade. Could I have a word with you? Is that boy again? I can't. Read ready, Uncle Arthur? I'll join you in a little while. Tell him I'm coming. All right, uh, now, maybe it's, it's a little bit worrying, don't you think? Now, as you will have read this book, we're holding a monthly competition, the best improvised weapon on Murphy defence. A privately wounded, paid out of the platoon funds are provided by Jones. What have you got for us, Corporal? Two chops and a quarter pound of chitterings. Two chops and a quarter pound of chitterings? What are chitterings? It's a secret part of the pig, sir. Really? A worthy prize indeed. We have a free entrance. Sergeant Wilson, Private Fazer, a Private Walker. Josie, give us, give us an end. We ask Sergeant Wilson to give us a demonstration first. Go on, Sergeant. Sergeant, sorry. Yes. We're waiting for the grenade firing crossbow. Why? Why what? Grenade firing crossbow. I'm very sorry, sir. But I'm afraid I left it in the, at home. You left it? What on earth the matter with you? You're in a dream. Are you ill? I'm quite all right, sir. Put yourself together. I have a word of you after the parade. Yes, right. Right. When we call on the private right, Fraser to demonstrate his anti-tank device, I... Well, sir, this is the road. Now place the roller plates upside down and line along it so. Anti-tank device, I, sir. 
Then the place I, sir. Then the place. Please continue. Now the enemy tank comes along the road. He sees the plates in his path. He doesn't know what they are. He stops over his turret and gets out to have a look. Meanwhile, we're hiding behind cover. As soon as he gets out of his tank, we now have him have it. We let him have it. Bang. What do you think, sir? Not as bad as they're all, Fraser. Right. We're going to call on Private... Oh, Walker, sir. Private Walker, sir. Right, folks. Here we have the greatest adventure since the bit's fire. Most remarkable piece of personal... Walker, you're not in the marketplace. Get on the demonstration. Oh, well, yeah. It's a sort of shoulder protector, isn't it? A uniform jack. You know, flak and shrapnel. I made it out of half a tyre. It will protect you from any blow from a weapon. All right, son. How's that? Never felt a thing. Very good idea. Very good advice indeed, Walker. Well, we had two excellent ideas from Fraser and Walker. We decided the winner by usual democratic show of hands. Now, who liked Fraser's advice? One, two, three, four. Now, Walker's one, two. And is Walker a clear winner? Now, don't take the heart, Taffy. I'll give you some of my chitterings. As a first-class idea, Walker. I think we'll quit the entire platoon. That means we should need nine, nine old tyres. It's worth a slight snack, sir. You can't get no tyres. They're like gold dust. Why well, suggest it? The prize had better go to Fraser. Uh, hang on. I know you're difficult, to, but uh, it isn't impossible. I happen to have a few tyres. As it is for the platoon, ten points apiece. How's that? Outrageous. My friend has got some old tyres. He bleed would have, wouldn't he? He could have, we could have him for nothing. That's better. I'll cut him up for you. Half crown, be quiet. Sit down, Sergeant. Dismiss the parade. Sergeant, I'll see you in my office now. All right, sir. Dismiss the parade, Corporal. Squad, attention. Dismiss. Come in, Wilson. Shut the door. Oh, sorry. Now, what's the matter? The matter, sir? You've been in a daydream all evening. You don't, haven't been listening. You leave your grenade firing crossbow at home. Well, you see, sir, it's all rather difficult. You better sit down, right? Thank you. In some sort of trouble, it's not me, sir. It is Mr. Pike. Miss Pike, what do you mean? Well, she's, um, she's, uh, now look, Wilson. I'm not your commanding officer. I wish you a friend. I thank you. I don't want you to feel any hesitation in confiding me. No. What's about, what is this about Mr. Pike? Well, well, you see, sir, she's, um, go and have a baby. Really? Oh, that is good news. My her husband will be delighted. Wait a minute, she's a widow, isn't she? That's right. How can she be having a baby? Ah, I thought you said you only went round there for meals. I told you, sir, that she's got my ration book. Yes, she's got something else now, hasn't she? I can only believe my ears. I come to the conclusion I don't know you, Wilson. You're a cad. That's what you are. How long have you been known me? me uh, only for years, sir. You haven't met why haven't you asked her to marry you? I just haven't got round to it. You better get around to it. Haven't you? You've got no idea. You can't go about paving like a barrel Flynn. What would the bank director say? No idea, sir. Well, I have. You must do the only honourable thing. Ask a woman to marry you. You're quite right, yes. I have a word of her in the next few days. You have a word of her tonight. There's no time to lose tonight. Tonight, today is Tuesday. She goes to bed early. Why? She gets terrified and tired on a Monday. You have to wake her up? Yes, I suspect by the morning the whole thing will be settled, that's all. Can I leave the room now? Please go. Well, who's that? It's me, Mavis. I want to talk to you. What do you want to do this time at night? It's only ten o'clock. I must talk to you. What do the neighbours think? I can't help what the neighbours think. All right, I'll come down. Do, uh, do hurry up, will you? Hello, what's going on in here? Oh, sorry, sir. I saw a shadowy figure in the doorway. I thought something fishy was going on. Everything's quite all right. She locked you out. Oh, out oh, no. It's quite all right. Lost your key? Don't have a key. I've got a bunch. Three bob each. Walker, I came here to remind you of your master, my young master Pike, about the parade tomorrow night. you see him in the bank in the morning. I'm minding about that as well. Arthur, are you still there? Of course I'm still here. Good job you arrived when you did. I oh, just got undressed. I should I should be in bed, bed and asleep. Mavis, please. Sergeant, I'm a man of desire. 
We all have our private lives to lead. Realms the word, all right. Go and do something, go somewhere else. Will you please open the door? I can't, I'm locked up. Besides, I've got my mother staying. What do you, would you think? I can't help that. I must talk to you. Talk for the litter box. It's actually embarrassing. What does he want to say? Well, look, may, look. Will you marry me? Arthur, Dolly. Oh, put a light out. I'm going to dismiss you. A little earlier this morning. On Saturday, Sergeant Wilson and Miss Pike are getting married. We're going to be right a guard of honor. I want to have a little rehearsal. I want to assume that the door of the hall represents the entrance to the guard of the church. On the command of fall out, I want you to form two ranks on either side of the church porch. Understand? Yeah. Attention. Platoon fall out. Quickly as I can, two short ranks down the side of the church. There you are. Now, on the appearance of the happy pair, I want you to draw bayonets and film an arch over them. You see the newspapers? Now, Sergeant, take your place. Is that really necessary? You want to do it properly. It's a bit embarrassing, then. Oh, come on! You want someone to take Mrs. Pike's place? Permission to speak, sir. Yes, couple. I'd like to take Mrs. Pike's place. I think you might. Why don't you go? Wait, go on. Thank you, sir. Right, go on, I want to plea, present, bang it, it's not you, Corporal, Corporal, not you, hurry up, I just seed it, put your arm through Sergeant Wilson's, down you come, smile for heaven's sake, it's your wedding day, don't be nervous, Sergeant Wilson, all right, so I interrupt Mr. Memory, I have our newcomers arrived, well, new good heavens, it's, it's a little, dear little boy, little boy, oh, when, about half an hour ago, half an hour, you never guess, Arthur, you need Arthur too. Come on, dear. This is the addition. This is the addition to the family. Our little Arthur Mercury. Hello. Are you my Uncle Arthur? No. This is your Uncle Arthur. He's very pleased to see you. Delighted. And somewhat relieved as well, curiously enough. 